This is news that just came across this morning. Sources have told ESPN that Bronny James has been medically cleared to participate in this week's NBA Combine in Chicago to be drafted next month and to play in the NBA. I'll remind you that Bronny was sidelined for several months after going into cardiac arrest last summer. He returned to USC, played in 25 games, averaged five points a game before declaring for the draft. This is significant for a variety of reasons. First and foremost, it's wonderful news for him and for their family, and we're all happy for that. That said, Big Perk, and obviously these are people you know well with LeBron and everybody, like there are a lot of us who think that Bronny's future and LeBron's future are intertwined here. How should I read this news that Bronny James has indeed been cleared to play in the NBA? For, for the first time ever on Get Up since I've been coming on this show for the last four years, Greeny, I'm going to pass the mic to Wendy, and then yeah. I want him to pass it back to me. Okay. Because I, I think he, he knows a little bit more than me, and I want to follow up on him. Because I, well, okay. I need to know Well, okay, fair enough. This might be Big Perk's first assist. I mean, even going back. Can we look back, <laughs> at, is, look back in the box for us? <laughs> Wendy, go. This is... This is called the give and go. Uh, so this was not unexpected. This was procedural. They wouldn't have put his name in the draft if they weren't confident he'd be cleared to play. Uh, over the last few months, uh, Rich Paul, who's the agent for LeBron and Bronny James, has made an effort to part the concept that drafting Bronny James means you're getting LeBron. I do believe LeBron is going to opt out of his contract next month, and I do believe he's got several reasons why he wants to do that, and leaving optionality for playing with Bronny is on the list, but I don't think it's at the top. I do think he's going to be back with the Lakers, and I also will say this. I think if the Lakers have an opportunity to draft Bronny James, they will do so, whether that's with the 55th pick or if they make another deal around the draft where they pick up another pick, I think they will try. I do not think it's going to be their top priority. Um, and I don't think uh, the league right now is looking at this as draft Bronny James and you can get LeBron. I do think the league wants to hear from Bronny this week at the draft combine because nobody has heard from Bronny. LeBron has been his voice throughout his career. And the, and the scouts believe that Bronny played out of position this year. And they think he actually might be better than what he's shown. So we're going to learn a lot more about Bronny in the next few days, the next week or two. And then we're going to have a better chance to assess exactly what might happen. Let me throw it back to you, Big Perk, on, with that. Go, go ahead. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this situation, and what it's, what it's telling me is, is that we don't have long for LeBron James, right? Like, I, I think the time is limited for us, him, you know, going uh, retiring. For the simple fact, the only thing that's holding LeBron here in the NBA, yes, he has love for the game of basketball, but I do know he wanted to get that one year of either playing with his son or playing against his son while they're in the NBA together. And, and here's the real thing. After the championship, after the Lakers won that championship in the bubble, LeBron James was really considering retiring at that moment. And the only thing that's been keeping him, you know, afloat or keeping him going is the fact that Bronny has emerged, into, emerged as an athlete, a basketball player, and he knew that he would have an opportunity to get drafted. And that has been one of Bron's biggest things is, hey, either I could play with Bronny or be in the league at the same time with him. I think it's, it'll be the first time in NBA history that is ever done, and it will be a, a, a huge accomplishment and a big deal for LeBron. Absolutely. That was why I really wanted to go there mm -hmm. first. I knew Wendy would give us the inside information, but I just thought that relationship piece of it feels so important here. And again, Hembo, would you pop that up one more time, please? Mm -hmm. So a big perk averaged right around one assist per game. <laughs> and so he's got his for today. <laughs> so, uh, so, Monica, if you're open, day, don't perk. expect to get the ball at the end of the show today. <laughs> <laughs> the order has been reached. <laughs> he, wasn't known, he wasn't known to find the spot-up shooter. 